farming volatile water now we are here in uh, what is this Twilight Highlands just running around here killing these volatile waters okay I got uh, according to my uh, little praise I got 5300 gold, gold value in one hour now uh, I can tell you this I farmed the first hour pulling single sets of mobs in the second half of the hour pulling big old groups. I got more volatiles and, and a higher value in the first half hour pulling them small small groups than I did pulling massive amounts. So, I would say do that. I did get uh, some uh, I did use a potion of treasure finding so let's see what we got out of the uh, value wise after we've opened up our treasure boxes where we, we had uh, for so we got like 30 uh 30 uh, treasure boxes. So that's not bad. That's like one every one every two minutes or so. I guess that isn't great, but not bad. But this farm is basically geared towards the uh, collection of the Volta Water because the price of the Volta Water is skyrocketing in most servers due to the fact you need it for the uh, in Legion. So this is... Uh, this is a guide to uh, help you stock up uh, your volatiles so you have something to go through. And, or, or, or should I say, not go through, but to stock up beforehand. So total, uh, this was uh, 6,400 gold in an hour. It's, it's not the best farm, but it's it, you're after one specific thing. So we got 120 volatile water in an hour. Now I got 9 volatile life. Those came out of the boxes. You still need to click those, and I got six volatile fire. Those came out of the uh, the treasures also. Now I got a few greens. I got a uh, I don't know, a handful of greens. What is there? Two, four, six, eight. I got ten greens. So those greens will be sent off to uh, to DE land because you know they all DE into hypnotic dust. Now I'll, I, as I as I do with everything, I'll post the greens on uh, the auction house for three or four days. If they don't sell in three or four days, then I will de disenchant them, but with my enchanter. Now, weapons, they automatically get sold off because the uh, deposit for weapons is too much. Most places, like, uh, here's a here's a weapon. Uh, a vendor for 13, uh, you know, uh, seven seven gold deposit for 48 hours. That's that's uh, that's, uh, that's two gold, so we'll, we'll, sell, we'll sell that off. This one's seven gold deposit, you know. So basically, weapons, you know, this one... 13 gold deposit. No. We we sell that off, but that thing vendor for 22 gold. And those are two weapons are just too expensive for their deposits. I mean, if you have to if you post uh 7 gold and you post it four times, that's 28 gold and you sell it for 30 gold. You really made only 2 gold. So it's better just to vendor those off and the, the weapons off the you know. Now, um I don't believe I got any pieces that are really good for transmog in this run. But uh, you do want to check them all just to make sure you uh, you didn't get something nice transmog piece like, and and if you did, you you might want to make sure you keep that piece. But uh, and to get three lock boxes, and what's even funnier is uh, I noticed when I was uh, looting, Loot Appraiser gave these Elementium lock boxes a one gold and seventy five silver uh, value. I thought that was kind of ironic because I don't know what's exactly in them, but uh, uh, but. But anyways, uh, this was a nice, easy run. Um, if you want your volatiles, I'll, I'll try to get a, a, a guide for this, the volatiles out. I have an idea where to get volatile, uh, volatile fire already, so I'll be making that guide next. And then uh, I'll just be looking for one for volatile ice. I mean, volatile, volatile ice. Look at me. Volatile life. But uh, thanks a lot. Um, how about give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to my page, and maybe drop by uh, Twitter, and I'm there every night. So, uh, drop in and ask your gold-making questions there. But, uh, thanks a lot, have a good day, and peace out.